Hello and welcome back to the woodland. It's uh, Saturday night and uh, I'm living the dream in this beautiful woodland surrounded by bluebells. Looking at this, which is pretty nice, and the light is uh, is just a good while above the fells in the distance so I'm hoping to capture some of this beautiful light and this beautiful scenery let me uh, just adjust the camera here So, I'm, uh, I'm down low, looking at the, uh, the bluebells in the foreground, the sun, and I've shielded the sun behind this tree with a view to um, with a view to being able to out the details in the foreground here so hopefully these this image will come out nice I'm trying to get um you've also got a lot of backlit backlit foliage on the leaves and things there and I want to try and capture as much of that as I can so I'm gonna go up to a f32 for this shot see if that gives me maximum depth of field we're on the the 90 millions I think what's happening there is I'm I'm not getting the effect of the light on the foreground I think I need to move back a bit yeah you see if you come back a bit I'll just kneel down again you seem to get a little bit more to just move across a bit because I'm getting a lot of flare onto the lens. So this is this is probably yeah. That's probably the shot there. Where well, you get the light at either side of the trees there you see. So it probably gives you a better effect. That's quite good that. Quite pleased with that. So whilst I'm I'm set up down here with the uh, the big camera and the 360 camera, I'm gonna just take a little wander around and see see if there's anything else what catches my eye. I've got the MD here where I can just squeeze off a few frames there to point and shoot style as I like yeah you see I think you lose the effect there because it's nice but it's it's not um, there's no foreground detail out there is it now You know, so you don't get the the effect as much, I don't think. Let me just change that. Right. Now, you see, this, this time of day now, you're on borrowed time, because every moment counts. Because as soon as that sun's gone, you lose this glorious low light and where I can see from looking through those trees they were probably about what 10 or 15 minutes away and I was hoping to go somewhere else as well before this back to the spot where I, I went in my previous video 
just wondering if I'm going to have time. What else am I going to get here? I want to capture that tree over there. So let's go and do that and then I'm going to move on to the other location. I've had a slight change of plan. I've moved on from uh, from my last location and I've come to this place which maybe it's lazy of me because I've been here thousands of times but the other location I wanted to go to I wasn't sure if I was going to get the get the light I wanted coming through the, the woodland there so I'm just trying to arrange things here the sun's very close to going behind the fells and once it does that's it so I'm just trying to find I'm just trying to find a place Sorry, I was just holding that in my mouth then while I tightened the camera up. So I'm thinking if I can if I can capture some of this beautiful light this could make for a nice image. So I'm going to move on to this next gap in the tree because I think that will give me a better result. This, um, this gap in the woods here, this is a picture I've taken so many times now, it's, it never gets old for me though, I absolutely love this view. And um, I'm just going to try and, try and balance this scene between the light in the sky and the, the foreground there. So I'm going to try and put you down because I can't do... I've only got two hands. Okay, now things have calmed down a bit with the, the sun. I'm actually getting some images I quite like. Because there's, they're not overrun with flare on there. Quick, 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 quick before it goes. Yeah, maybe just move across and try and not get that, that twig in the bottom right hand corner. Can I do it from here? Yep. Quick. It's gone now. The sun's gone. One little cloud. So let's see. Listen to them lambs calling for the mum. Right, note to self, this image, if you can see that, I'm just going to take that image, it's very, it's almost black in the foreground, yeah, so in post production let's see what, how much of that foreground I can recover from the Hasselblad X1D sensor. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Lovely. Never met you before in my life. We're best mates, though. Right, so I'm going to see how much I can get out of this scene now that it's gone. So, like I say, See, if, see how much I can recover from the foreground there. I mean, I don't know how much you're seeing of this, but I can see everything there. 
the dynamic range. Can the Hasselblad? That is the question. See what one shot gives me. See how far I can push the shadows and bring the highlights back without ruining it. But then I'll put three images together as well with the. Um... Okay. So, what have we learnt? So, 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 so what have we learnt tonight? Again, I was maybe left it a little bit, a little bit late to come out. Um, but, I think I was expecting to achieve more than I did in the sense that I thought I could come here and go to the place I went to in my previous video where you see the meandering path through the, the woodland there and I was thinking with a bit of low down warm side lighting that could be a quite an interesting shot um, obviously not meant not not meant to be uh, this evening so I'm pretty pleased with what I've got so far. I mean, I have been here hundreds of times, so it's nothing new. But, you know, in the, in the grand scheme of things, I wasn't fully 100% feeling like I, I wanted a big trip out. So I feel like I've done all right. Um, taking a few test shots, just looking over this scene here. And what I'm hoping to gain from doing that is just to see how much of the foreground I can recover in one raw file. So I'm just going to hang around for a bit and see what happens to the sky over the Langdale Pikes there because it uh, seems to be changing colour pretty quick. So I'm going to hang around and see how it goes. So here's a look. So I'm going to stay in position for a while and see if uh, anything happens. There's no cloud so I'm not expecting anything spectacular, but there looks to be some cloud behind the, the mountains there. So you never know what might happen. So if I can withstand the midges nibbling away at me, I can, uh, I might get another five or ten minutes. So I'm just recomposing this scene here um, to have more emphasis on, to have more emphasis on the sky. Um, I've got some quite successful pictures from here where the, the branches are silhouetted against the sky and uh, I'm just trying to reproduce that now on this camera. Okay, so uh, just a waiting game now. It's uh, it's amazing how quickly things change from, you know, over the course of 10 or 20 minutes from this glorious, powerful, bright yellow, orange, warming light to uh, these cool, I mean, the temperature's dipped. Luckily, the, um, the midges seem to have disappeared, which is great. Uh, there's a few still about, but m most of them have gone. And... It's gone very cool and uh, the colours in the landscapes change quite a lot as well. And uh, yeah, just a bit of light can make an image pop, can't it? You know, just just that little bit of light can really have a, a dramatic effect. And I think, you know, painting with light is an expression, what's been referred to about landscape photography. And it's true to a, to a large extent because... Uh, you know, what can otherwise be a regular, ordinary scene can be transformed with the right kind of lighting. Um, it's an odd one from here because uh, because the sun sets over over this way here where I'm looking. You get, um, you know, a lot of people would say, oh, you don't shoot into the sun. And obviously earlier on I experienced these problems with the flare on, on the image. 
and it's it's not pleasant but if you can get it right you know if you can hide the sun behind something or you can position yourself where you shield yourself from the direct sun the effect of shooting into the sun in my experience can be quite attractive it's uh, it's quite uh, you know it can reveal some quite nice images um, so yeah just a few thoughts there on, on what I've captured tonight and like I say this scene behind me unfolding it, it's still developing I mean you know uh, it, uh, there might be another 20 minutes of time worth worth spending because uh, you know things can happen but it's a fantastic location isn't it I mean who doesn't want to uh, spend time in a place like this I feel very privileged to be able to do this and uh, and I'm very passionate about photography and this place and this location and the wider landscape really I think it's uh, it's spectacular so let's uh, see how things go from here on but again I would like to thank you for your time in watching my content and your support with the positive kind messages of encouragement you all give me and uh, if you've got any questions or comments you'd like to raise about this this shoot tonight if there's any things you're stuck with yourself or if you want to get my opinion on anything then feel free to ask in the comments below I'm not professing to be anything other than what I am really and that's a guy who likes to take images and I've been doing it a long time so uh, I'd, I make mistakes every day every time I take, go out with my camera I, I make a mistake and I learn from it and that's the best way to learn in my experience just to keep going keep trying and um, it all comes together and I think one of the things what's really quite exciting about landscape photography is the process never ends you know I'm not once you've grasped the basics it's just honing your vision honing your eye and making sure that you know what you're doing is uh, is satisfying to you and that, that ultimately is all that matters at the end of the day if it makes you happy then you're a winner so we'll leave it there for now thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon on the next video all the best to you take care